Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today we're looking at a free plugin from ADSR Sounds called Sample Manager. I'll put a link to the Sample Manager in the description below, so please do check that out. Now, what you do once you've installed is press F11 and it basically works like a VST instrument. So we'll come down to VST Instruments, Sampler, ADSR Sample Manager and Add Track. Once it's loaded, yours will be empty. So what you need to do is basically select the locations where all your samples are stored. Um, press the little computer here, click Add Library. And then what you can do is you can select the folder. I've got a samples uh, hard drive here where all my samples are co um, collected. I'm going to click Cancel. Uh, but once, it, once you've done that, you'll see here, it basically populates it. It'll spend a minute or two and you can see this one's up to date this one's still analyzing and once it's done you'll find you've got all your samples and basically you've got a load of tags which it's taken which is kind of really really cool now you can do a search via search at the top and click kick and you'll see there it's brought up a load of kicks um, or base and you can see there's a load of bases or you can go through the list here and Let's ping, pluck, you know, there's all sorts. And what you can do is preview. So loads of different options. Now you've also got loop and one shot here, which is kind of nice. So if we, let's just go back to kick. Now you can see, I'm going to take one shot off and you've got a load of kick loops. Or let's put one shot on and take loop off. And there's all your one shot kicks. Really, really simple, easy to use. And you've also got this nice random feature. Now, usually what happens is when it um, looks through your sample folder, it'll categorize them either by folder or alphabetically. Uh, and what you tend to do is go down and look through the same kicks every single time. With this random feature, what it'll do is it'll basically skip through all the samples and you might end up finding something that you would ordinarily never really find because if you're like me, you've got thousands upon thousands of kick samples. Uh, so to go through them all to find the kick, you know, this is a quick way of finding that. So when you've found something you like, let's use that one, you can favorite it by clicking the little heart. And you can also add your own tags. So if we click there, we could type, I don't know, deep, press enter, and you can see now it's added that tag to that kick sample. Now what's really, really nice as well is we can just drag and drop it straight into your DAW. Really, really handy feature. Um, and then you can build up your project really, really quickly, just as you would normally. You know, so there's there's your kick drums. And now let's type in bass. And I'm going to take one shot off and I'm going to try loop. And let's press random again. do again we can maybe click favorite and what we can do is just drag and drop it across to the project again so if I press play now so you can see straight away we're building up a track really really quickly um, you've also got sync to door so when it's playing the loops back um, it's basically gonna sync to the tempo of your project. So let's just type perk and see what it comes up with. We'll have loops. And let's play the project. Sync to door.
let's just put that in musical mode. <laughs> So you can see it's a really, really quick and intuitive way of getting some content. Uh, Media Bay is good. Uh, nothing wrong with Media Bay. Uh, sometimes it's a bit sluggish. This, I find, alongside Media Bay, would make life so much easier. So for me, it's definitely worth having. You've also got a MIDI mod down here, whereby when we are listening to loops, um, if you're triggering it via your MIDI keyboard, what you can have is, you just click on Manager, if it's on loop, it'll loop round. If it's on full, I'll press it once, and it'll play the full loop. Or if you have it on stop, you can just MIDI trigger it. What's really handy as well is you can basically change the start point. So you can get some real quite interesting uh, elements by just moving the start point of a sample. And these samples can be triggered via MIDI from the project. So you can get some real unusual loops really, really quickly. So that's just a quick overview so far of the sample manager from ADSR Sounds. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do another video on this once I've spent a little bit more time and show you some of the other cool features that it's got. But for right now, please check the description below. Download this thing. It is amazing. Until next time. Bye-bye.